Hi everyone, welcome back to How We Handle HD and today we're continuing on with Life is Strange. This is going to be part 3 and we're entering the dormitories. We're going to see where Max stays. Or, yeah, stays. I'll make that a bit small. One thing that's pretty cool is you can... Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Interact with all Truly. of the... Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. History took so long. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. I'll change that. If you know, you know. But yeah. I was trying to be make this a good play for you know. Let's try and be nice. So this is our room. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Obvious, but true. She's a very, um, typical teenage American person. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. The Max Caulfield photo memorial wall. I do like her room, her room's pretty cool. It's kind of like, oh, wow, hi, my room is like... At least school. I know you've got my that back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the east. Great, so the principal is, is right. Max out to her mum. We are. I knew we were bonded forever. What other stuff have we got? Oh, there's a note. Oh, there's a photo. Let's take a photo. Like a real selfie. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Mm -hmm. I think Warren's wanting a piece. Yeah. Oh, let's play guitar. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to chill out and play some guitar. I reckon if I didn't push anything, that would have just went on and on for quite a while. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music. Yeah, it's too hipster. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier Bresson, I know. Hamilton, the greatest. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, no what a fantastic eye. Shot. He could truly freeze time. Let's go. Yeah, there's people out there that enjoy this sort of stuff. I'm just going to turn that off because it's. Yeah, it's quite loud. Looks like Dana left me a little post it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Don't forget to water your plants. Oh. 
I think I've done all I can in this room. I need to go and see Dana. Oh, keep going and carry on. Go, wee rug. If you guys haven't clocked on, I'm, I'm pretty drunk. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, no, here we go. Uh, Welcome to the run. real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, stupid. Answer, you wuss. Ah. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been you sexting with my out. boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's it's why I'm talking so to you now. What's my last name? Oh. Is it Watson? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Oh, I didn't even right. think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. He was in the courtyard. I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know where to go. I know where I go. Let's hijack Victoria's room. <sighs> Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. This, the attention to detail in this game is, is very cool. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Printing emails, what are we? 2003? I like how she says nothing about that. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Speaking of selfies... I won't mess up. I'm going to be a good person. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I like how she printed the evidence of her own, using her own printer. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. I think the game at the start is very fetch quest. -esque. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Get the flash drive, go see Warren, blah, blah, blah. This is both sad and pathetic. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Oh. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. 
I think you better go. Time to rewind. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Yeah, it's definitely not happen. La la la, I don't see that pregnancy test. This is both sad and pathetic. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't. But you can know it. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. There's that damn flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. That's cringy. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Think I should uh, speak to Dana? Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Mm. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? That beat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. It's weird being a girl in this game. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Let's get on out of here. Oh, text. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. <laughs> have to go off, girl. Thanks again. Let's talk later. Sorry, guys. I'm just pouring a beer at the same time as trying to play this game. So I'm a wee bit preoccupied. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Um, intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but 
Now Officer David Dickhead is after me. I wouldn't worry Maybe about I that. Should rewind and... Let's just not do that. I think in the previous playthrough, um, it's obviously not on YouTube, I chose to take a photo of that and I want to do something a little bit different. Okay, we'll see you more. But I'm going to talk to a few people first. I'm glad I stepped in that time. I can't stand to see people being bullied. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. <laughs> Let's see what else I can do in the parking lot. Who toilet papers a bike? Someone apparently. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. Seriously. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. That layer of dust is begging for my finger. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. It's like the, the picture from our dorm. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Max, get your ass over here. Here we go. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? Look at Warren in his way back machine. Mm. He's a brave man. Please. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Hi. <laughs> no problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez. You're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? We'll see ya. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? 
So you're sensitive. Ouch, Ouch. that sounds awful the way you say it. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl yeah. will too. If I was lucky. Yeah. Speaking of hip and fast, the right girl we will too. down my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Mm. Answer me, bitch. Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. <laughs> Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Mm. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> leave kiss. him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the go. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, I got this. I love how he gets his face mashed in. You go, I got this. Stand there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Their friendship is... Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? Well, He's just another Arcadia game. asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Questions. Warren? Yeah, Answers. I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was no cool, love for but Seattle. I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Yeah. Very true. I think that's been the longest video so far in the series. Broken. Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. 
Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. I like Chloe in this game. The, the, the voice actor of Chloe, she's got some good lines. I think I'll leave it here um, at Chloe's house and then we can do the next part. Part four after that. This is going 25 minutes now, so that's quite long. I'll wait till the cutscene ends and we're in the house and then I'll just. Come on. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. <laughs> what was like that? There's a no one. Saving there as well, which is good. I'll wait till it turns actually back in the gameplay, then I'll just uh, cut it off and then we'll come back to it the next time. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. <clears throat> cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.